why everyone is leaving Las Vegas. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damian Barton, Angela's sidekick. And today we're going to be talking about why everyone is leaving Las Vegas. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. I need some love. Help support my channel, right? Yes, please. Yes. yes. So why is everyone leaving Las Vegas? And that is a good question. Okay, folks. And today we're going to be going over the top five reasons why people are saying sayonara to Las Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the first reason, and this isn't like the top one through five reasons, it's just one of the reasons that people are leaving Las Vegas is the extreme hot weather in the summers. Okay, folks. Now, July is our hottest month, and sometimes in July we'll have triple digits for like a week, two weeks in a row, right? Mm -hmm. This last July was pretty hot. It was the pretty hot. I think mm -hmm. we hit a record high or, or a high of 115. Mm -hmm. But normally in July, it's about 112, and you'll have 112 for like four days in a row, five days in a row. Brutal. It's brutal. And then the night times, it doesn't get cool. It stays in the hundreds, and so you're like, you don't even go outside the month of July. The Technically, the average temperature in July is 104, but to me, the average temperature in July is 110. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Yeah, for sure. 104 at night. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. And number two on the list is the high cost of utilities, especially electricity and sometimes water, but mostly electricity because we do live in the desert and it does get hot here. So we're continuously running the AC. In the past couple years, our utility bills have been redonkulous. Um, just like this summer, our electric bill, you know, we have a 3,300 square foot house. Granted, our house is 31 years old. Our ACs are probably original, at least one's original. It was over $600. And people have been complaining left and right. You see them in next door, you see them everywhere, how expensive their utilities have gotten. Not only has that gone up, water has gone up, but not as much, but gas. Gas has gone up so much that my gas bill was starting to look like an electric bill during the winter time. Mm -hmm. And it was like $300 for gas. And that is also redonkulous because... Yeah, well, Southern Nevadans saw their gas bill jump by as much as 27% in July of 2023, to give you an idea yeah. of the increase. It was, it's, it's a horrible increase, and I'm not looking forward to this winter because gas can't be controlled like electricity. If you got uh, more higher insulation windows, if you got better AC, that will help with the electrical electricity, mm -hmm. but not within, I don't think, a, well, a new furnace may help with yeah, the cost would. of gas, mm -hmm. but more you know. efficient. Yeah. And number three on the list is the poor school systems. The public school system in Las Vegas is not well regarded. The Clark County School District is one of the largest school districts here in Nevada, and USA Today and World News Report has ranked it 49th out of 50 states, which is awful. Yeah, 49th out of 50 in the nation. Yes, mm -hmm. in the nation. Um, however, if you do buy in like nice master plan communities like Summerlin or the Henderson school systems tend to be better than any of the other school systems in the Las Vegas Valley. And we do also have some awesome private schools that a lot of people will uh, let their kids attend in lieu of the public school system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, very. That, those are very well regarded here in this, yes. in this town especially. Yes. But we have consistently ranked 49th out of 50 as long as I can remember. Yes, I would agree with that. In fact, we've lost good business companies moving here because of the school systems in the past. So we really need, do need to work on that. So that's why it's made our list. Yeah, and that's why people are leaving Las Vegas. We'll bring them back, y'all. <laughs> and number four is running out of water. Las Vegas is facing a serious water shortage. The city gets about 90% of its water from the Colorado River, and which is facing the worst drought in record history. Okay, folks, the water level at Lake Mead 
which is the city's primary source of drinking water, has dropped 150 feet since 2000. So mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, you do hear, hear horror stories, oh no, water's running out, you know, mm -hmm. there's not gonna be enough water. But a lot of people are so scared of those new stories, that's why they're leaving Las Vegas. Not that I think that it's as dire as the media makes it out to be, mm -hmm. but that's one of the reasons why people are afraid to stay. And number five is limited job opportunities. Las Vegas is a tourism driven economy with everyone working in the service industry, either from the casinos to the restaurants that are in the casinos. It is seriously tourism driven, right? So what that means is there's limited high paying jobs. I mean, this is yes and no. Technically, only about 30% of the jobs come from this industry, the service industry. So where's the 70 other percent coming from, right? So, mm -hmm. but a lot of people have this false belief that there's limited job opportunities or that people that are coming in the service industry have a hard time finding a job because they're limited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest chunk, that's for sure. These are just a few of the reasons why people are leaving Las Vegas. It's important to weigh all of the options carefully before making a decision whether to stay or leave this city. As you know, I am a lifelong local. I have been here for over 30 years. And, you know, you got to discuss why there are cons of people leaving. You know, there's there's a, numerous reasons, but these are what we feel the top five reasons why a lot of people leave Las Vegas. They experience one summer here and they're like, forget about it. <laughs> but at least we don't have humidity, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have humidity. We don't have any major disasters like earthquakes and volcano eruptions. Seldom do we have fires. We don't have hurricanes. Well, we did have a hurricane technically come through, but that wasn't really a hurricane. Hurricane Hillary. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we get some rains here and there, but we don't have any real natural disasters here. So I would take the 110, 112 degree summers all day long because I lived in those humid, hot places before. And how about you? What do you think? Yeah. What do you, let us know in the comments if you've left Las Vegas and what were the reasons why you left Las Vegas. But most importantly, make sure you... Hit that like button. And most definitely subscribe to my channel because not only do I talk about Las Vegas, I also like to talk about real estate. <laughs> Hence, I'm a realtor. Anyway, folks, thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you on the next one.